Solomon has been on the scene. Brent, what are you learning? Well, it all unfolded right here in this rural neighborhood on Stroud Road. And take a look over my shoulder here. You can see the tire marks from where that car ended up after being shot up. Investigators believe the victim knew at least one of the suspects, and now all three are in custody. I want you to look now. You'll see the car the teenage boy was in when police say three people approached him just before two this afternoon. Two of those people were armed. The situation escalated when gunshots were then fired at the car, shattering glass and injuring the boy inside. He was able to drive away, landing in that nearby yard I showed you. That's where a neighbor tells me the victim got out of the car and was struggling for help. I just heard a bunch of shots. And it's, I seen the car, well, I didn't see it, but then in the field, I seen a guy drop out his car. And I just tried to keep everybody away. Did he look shaken up or concerned? He or just hold, it feel like he was just holding his, looked like he was just holding his shoulders. And then it didn't take long. They found the three people involved. Already. Oh, really? That's good. You think it's good that they're called? Yeah, de yeah, definitely. Because we don't want no shooting around here. It's a very quiet neighborhood. Well, police searched by air and even brought out canines to find the three suspects. It took about an hour for them to find them outside, not far from the scene of the crime. Back live now, I'm told the victim was able to call police and so did a nearby neighbor. The victim was treated on the scene. He's doing fine at this hour. No word yet what charges that one adult and two teenage suspects will face, but of course we'll keep you posted. We are live and on your side in Chesterfield. Brent Solomon. NBC 12.